Let's show the steps to connect my instance of Cloud Pack for Security that is running on a cloud server to my local instance of Curita running at home under a virtual machine. To do that, we go here under Settings, Data Sources, Connect to a Data Source, and we select here Curator. This is fairly accurate, it's about 10 minutes that you should take this. And what you need is the IP address of the Curator box. If your instance is in another cloud or someplace that you have a direct IP address, there's no nothing more than that for you to use. In my case, because I have my Curator running on a local instance on a VM under a NAT, well, the IP address in which I put on the browser to go to my Curator instance is different from the IP address that I use if I want to connect to my Curator box from the cloud. And to do that, you need to do port forwarding. In the PFSense series of videos, and you see the link to all the, to the PDF where all my videos are listed in the video description of this and all my videos, you'll find how to do port forwarding. So by doing so, my Curator instance is accessible from the internet by virtue of that port forwarding. So in my case, it's going to be a little tricky because there's going to be two IP addresses. One is my IP address, my public IP address at home, and another one is the IP address that I put, that I put HTTPS colon slash slash, then put the IP address. Or it can also be, if you have a host name, can also be the host name. Uh, you'll need a data, uh, a security token. And for that, that's easy. You go into your Curator instance and you go on their authorized service. I'm going to post the video. I don't want to reveal all my tokens. So I shorten the column. And this is the one that I'm going to be using, as you probably have done before. When you click on it, a single click, then you can go up here and do the copy of that token. The third thing is the combination of the certificates. Let me actually click in here to see this in more detail. So I select this one, click Next. And notice that in here you need to specify a name. So I'm going to call it say curator. You need to add a description. This is uh, mandatory. And uh, okay, so in here, what you need to do is to put the public IP of that instance. Again, in my case, because I'm behind a NAT, what I'm going to put here is the public IP address at home, which obviously I'm not going to show in the video, and the port that I use to do the port forwarding. So let's say I use port 123 and I forward that to the instance behind the NAT in my system, right? So let me actually put that here and scroll up, scroll down. Now we click here where it reads Add Configuration, and this is the place where we're going to put the configuration name. And I'm going to put the actual token that I create for CloudPack in Curator. And we're going to click here Add. Optionally, you can go here and edit Access and then define your cloud pack for security users, whether they have access to this or that, but I'm the manager in here, so I don't think I need to add any access because I already have it, uh, but if I want to make it the owner, I can click here. Let's actually do it instead of talking about it. So I can click here and I say the analyst has view access and the manager has owner access. But again, uh, this is not required. Now comes the last part two pieces in here. Let's talk about the bottom one first. You need to follow these instructions and put the Curator instance, in my case it's an IP, the port is 9381, and then this, and you will retrieve the CA 
of your curator instance. Grab the content of that. Actually, I'll show a little of it on, on separately. And then do the same thing, but put in the intermediate as well. We re retrieve it by adding uh, the INT to the previous URL on a browser. And you get the second certificate. Copy them both, one after another. Okay? Because this is copy both into the certificate section. So you can do it one at a time. What I did is uh, I open a NOPA type of application, an editor, and I grab the first one, put it there, grab the second one, put it there. And for this, because I'm behind a NAT, I use the actual IP address of my behind the NAT uh, Curator instance to get that. Now, the server name indicator. And this is the the tricky part in my case because it's a NAT. If you are if your instance of Curator is directly exposed to the internet, probably in another cloud somewhere, uh, just, you don't need you don't even have to put anything in here. Nothing. But in my case, because the certificate has a name that is to the I, the local IP address of my instance, I need to put in here 172.16.60.10, which is that IP address. And in here, I'm going to paste those uh, two certificates. Make sure I make this easier for you to follow. Notice that my local instance behind the NAT is 172.16.16.10. That's the port. You put vault dash QRD underscore CAPM and you get this certificate. Okay. Uh, so I grab that and to get the other one, you put the underscore INT for intermediate and you get the other certificate. Again, put the previous one first, copy the second one in an editor or you just grab them from here and paste it into the cloud packs for security section in here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to post a video and do that in here. I just did that. And just in case you are wondering, you need to copy this with the begin certificate and end certificate portion of the two certificates. We click here, done. I scroll down to avoid revealing my local IP here. And we see that this is what you need to achieve. That red status that says connected. So now, I have a connection between the cloud pack instance in a cloud to my local behind a NAT. That makes it a little bit more complicated, but it might be your case if you are testing these things at home behind a virtual machine. So I'm going to click here, done. And here we have it. Now, let's actually go to Data Explorer and test this and make a search. And again, this is very easy. I'm going to even search for the local IP address of Curator, 172.16.60.10. And for the last uh, five minutes, this is easy. <laughs> and on the data sources, I'm going to select only the Jose Curator. This is actually the Jose123. And run the query. And we got query completed. And we can actually click in here, wait until this loads and see the results. Notice that the data came in key value pairs, right? And as you can see, this is even flow data. This is my DNS traffic. I use Quad9 here at home. So you not only get logs and flows, and I put the same IP address of Curita, so everything that was going to Curita was actually retrieved, and that's what we see all that all that data in the last five minutes. Oh, that's how easy it is to add a Curita local instance, or, or it can be on the cloud. It's the same procedure, exactly the same. Uh, if you have in one cloud data explore uh, uh, cloud pack for security and another cloud you have a curator instance or in my case i have it local you have an ip address it's easier if you are behind in that you need to take into consideration the steps i went through in this video